Many of you are either following a carnivore diet or have recently done so, which is entirely meat being very high in B vitamins, but that doesn't mean you're exempt from certain B vitamin deficiencies. Then you go to a standard American diet, which is incredibly deficient in B vitamins, even worse, a vegan diet. Considering our bodies do not store large amounts of them, it's almost like the majority of the population is running on empty, where the small amount an individual gets on a daily basis is just enough to keep things barely afloat. In most cases, people are sinking. And there's a reason even the government, who wants people weak and sick, easy to be controlled, fortifies flowers with certain B vitamins to create enriched flour. They don't want to kill people, they just want them to be sick. Since B vitamins are involved in so many bodily functions, symptoms of deficiency are hard to isolate to specific ones. Tiredness, fatigue, weakness, constipation, loss of appetite, weight loss, numbness, tingling, balance problems, confusion. I mean, is there any older person who doesn't have at least half of those problems? I'm going to go through each of these B vitamins, briefly touch on functions, signs of deficiency, some nuances, as well as how to get that B vitamin. And before we get started, if you guys could please check out frank-stefano.com, sign up for the newsletter, support me through my businesses. We do have uh, B complex on there, which is natural ratios. And I think I'll put my Amazon shop down below as much as I despise Amazon. If you guys do need to isolate specific B vitamins, that's probably where you're going to get them. So I will pick out each individual one and put it on there for you guys. Starting with vitamin B1, thiamine, which is crucial for mitochondrial cell energy function. And that's a very short statement for how crucial that is. What it actually entails, ensuring every single cell in our body is able to metabolize nutrients and act properly. If you don't have enough, you cannot break down and release energy from food, particularly carbohydrates, but it's also needed to produce fatty acids. Certain foods do deplete vitamin B1, especially white rice, white bread, because they don't contain enough of this B vitamin to offset its energy metabolism requirement. Alcohol consumption also depletes B1, so this might be the most significant one to supplement for the average standard American dieter. Common symptoms of B1 deficiency are weight loss, low appetite, memory issues, heart problems, tingling, loss of muscle mass, poor reflexes, and the best natural way to get B1 is to eat a lot of lean meat and take digestive enzymes with that to ensure it's absorbed. But I do suggest most people try a supplement at least a few times. And one thing you guys are gonna notice is a lot of these functions and issues are overarching to all of the B vitamins, but each of them do have some specific properties. And what I mean by that is all of these are pretty much involved in energy metabolism, creating cells, detox pathways, removing negative things from your body. So I'll try not to generalize too much. Vitamin B2 riboflavin is involved in removal of toxins, those agrochemicals, drugs. It's required for energy synthesis, just like vitamin B1, plays a role in the glutathione antioxidant cycle, and increases cellular transport of certain nutrients like zinc and iron. Antioxidant systems are so stressed in our modern world that this is just one small component. So definitely check out my videos on antioxidants to understand what can be done to alleviate oxidative damage. Symptoms from B2 deficiency might be skin disorders, sores around your lips, swelling of the throat, mouth, hair loss, itchy eyes, more severe deficiencies seen in vegans include anemia and cataracts. Meat and dairy are excellent sources and tend to be adequate for everyone, although it doesn't hurt to try a supplement. Next we have vitamin B3, niacin, which is predominantly used to release energy from food, keep the nervous system functioning, required to synthesize more enzymes than any other vitamin, let alone B vitamins, hundreds of different ones especially macronutrient energy conversion and cell metabolism. Most people that have supplemented this are familiar with the skin flushes it can cause and higher doses do result in liver damage. So if you are deficient, 
you might have skin discoloration, headache, fatigue, depression, and digestive irregularities like vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. Severe, severe deficiencies lead to memory problems, suicidal behavior, vegans and alcoholics being most susceptible, and in reality, vegans and alcoholics are susceptible to all B vitamin deficiencies. Lean meat is an excellent source of niacin, whether it's fish, beef, or pork, and then loading up on brown rice and mushrooms with that meat is a great way to get a large amount of it, but you definitely don't want to supplement this for more than a couple days because of the liver risks. Then we have vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, which is a precursor for coenzyme A, crucial for energy metabolism, involved in the production of steroid hormones such as vitamin D, adrenal hormones, as well as neurotransmitters. And we're really seeing a theme here with that energy metabolism, which does make it a little difficult to isolate these specific deficiencies. However, unlike the previous B vitamins mentioned, a deficiency in B5 is far less common. Numbness, headache, irritability, poor sleep, and lack of appetite are typical symptoms. Again, we have meat being an excellent source of this B vitamin. Uh, shiitake mushrooms being one of the best sources, so having that with the steak is an excellent, excellent way to get a large amount of vitamin B5. And you can try to supplement this once or twice to see how you feel, just like all of these other B vitamins. Vitamin B6 pyridoxine is needed for over 100 enzymes, glucose metabolism, normal red blood cell formation, regulation of hormonal activity, and normal psychological function. And those are very general because all of these B vitamins really play a role in every single one of these processes, making red blood cells, making hormones, neurological nervous system function. Vitamin B6 toxicity is the most commonly reported B vitamin issue, seemingly from supplements being fortified with far too much. Deficiency seems very uncommon, but is usually a result of overall B vitamin imbalance or kidney and digestive disorders. Symptoms are similar to some we mentioned for other B vitamins, anemia, scaling on the lips, cracks around your mouth, confusion, and depression. Now I keep saying steak and lean meat are excellent sources of B vitamins and B6 is no exception. I've mentioned this in past videos as one of the reasons people feel a lot better going carnivore. You know, they're replenishing some past B vitamin deficiencies, which is arguably the strongest benefit to the carnivore diet in general. Vitamin B7, we have biotin. I've also seen this referred to as vitamin H. Again, involved in macronutrient metabolism, this time particularly from fat and protein. It's synthesized by gut bacteria and incredibly high in probiotic foods like kefir and sauerkraut. Now, what I mean here by heavily synthesized is that you know, all of our gut bacteria produce B vitamins. Gut bacteria are composed of B vitamins, but biotin especially. It's a common additive in cosmetic products. And since most people do have imbalanced microbiomes, dysbiosis, especially due to high Wi-Fi environments causing oxidative stress in those organ tissues, you know, it's no wonder people see improvement in their hair, skin, and nails when supplementing biotin, even on something like a carnivore diet. Common symptoms of deficiency lining up with hair thinning, brittle nails, depression, fatigue, causes being digestive issues, Crohn's, colitis, the alcohol consumption we mentioned, being vegan. And one thing mentioned a lot is that consuming egg whites depletes biotin, which is probably an issue in like conventional bro science bodybuilders. But I do think most people should try a biotin supplement for a week or two and then just incorporate plenty of probiotic foods in their diet. If you're not eating things like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, those fermented foods in large amounts on a consistent basis daily, you should definitely supplement biotin at least once per week. Vitamin B9, folate, essential for metabolism of DNA, amino acids, plays a role in all living cells, is needed for methylation synthesis of methionine from homocysteine. You have folate, which is the natural form, and folic acid, a type of synthetic vitamin form. And due to a high rate 
of birth complications, neural tube defects from deficiency, folic acid fortification has been mandated in many countries. Problem is, many people cannot metabolize folic acid, which requires several processes and enzymes to be turned into the active form folate, which you can just get from food or from a proper supplement. Granted, methylfolate is much more expensive, over 10 times the price of folic acid on a large scale, but you know, if the cheap alternative doesn't actually work, it shouldn't matter. You have to spend the money on something that works. Common symptoms are weakness, headache, heart palpitations, and irritability. If you eat a lot of egg yolks, you might be able to get enough folate, but I would definitely try a methylfolate supplement a few times a week, uh, which is the form that I do put in my natural B complex. And from my past antioxidant video, you guys might be familiar with the folate cycle, part of methylation, incredibly important for detox in the body. Vitamin B12 cobalamin is required for nervous system function, releasing energy from food, maturation of red blood cells, and is a cofactor for vitamin B9 required in that folate cycle. I think vegan B12 deficiency is the first thing that comes to mind for most people on the topic of B12. Although the vegans are probably deficient in all the B vitamins, you know, you're basically playing with your life on a vegan diet, especially when you compromise B12 intake as a severe deficiency can cause irreversible damage to the brain and nervous system. I've had comments on my channel. I've received emails from people mentioning they have permanent damage like tingling that has never gone away. Symptoms of deficiency are fatigue, weight loss, constipation, loss of appetite, numbness, tingling, memory problems, as well as depression. Certain shellfish and liver is very high in B12, but it's definitely worth trying out a supplement even if you're on the carnivore diet. You guys know I don't make enough money for this shit, right? Like, I make minimum wage from YouTube for the amount of hours I put in. Like, the dude flipping burgers at McDonald's makes as much money as me, and I've helped God knows how many hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people. But let me wrap this up so I can stop complaining and so I don't lose my mind. Even with a high-quality organic diet with plenty of animal foods, B vitamin deficiencies are common due to environmental oxidative stress let alone those more severe factors like high alcohol consumption, vegan diets, promoting the reduction of meat consumption, digestive diseases like Crohn's, or just an older person having compromised enzyme functions and they're not absorbing the nutrients from food as a younger person properly should. Overall, B vitamins are heavily needed in energy metabolism and since that involves breaking down proteins and amino acids, which are building blocks, they require for every single cell in the body, vital for nervous system function, vital for hormone synthesis, antioxidant cycles, therefore detox of chemicals, heavy metals, as well as repair of cell damage from free radicals, the maintenance of hair, skin, and nails, and I don't think I've emphasized the importance of nervous system function. Let me use some other words like cognitive, psychological, mental function. Most people that act irrational or crazy are likely experiencing some sort of B vitamin deficiency. You know, if you have a family member that eats only bread and pasta and no meat and they're older and they're getting crazy, you know, give them some B vitamins, get some protein in their diet for sure. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. As I mentioned earlier, organsupplements.com for the natural B complex. We also have uh, the antioxidant formula. I'll link the Amazon shop down below with each of these individual B vitamins that I've used in the past. So if you guys could please leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.